Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. If you've always wanted a Chevrolet El Camino, but wished it had room for a family of four. Or, if you want a pickup truck where you can put the convertible top down on a warm, sunny day, then this 2006 Toyota Solara SE two-door convertible pickup truck just might be your jam. Listed in Smyrna, Tennessee, outside Nashville on the Facebook Marketplace, this exclusive Toyota Solara SE convertible truck was reasonably priced at $4,700. The listing is in Spanish and says, Vendo mi salara truck en buenas condiciones 153,000 milis ticholo reconstruido to do la funciona, which translates to, I'm selling my salara truck in good condition with 153,000 miles, rebuilt title, everything works. Okay, so it has a rebuilt title, but so do mos. But where else will you find such a unique vehicle that combines wind in your hair motoring while doing truck stuff? It's also the coolest Franken mashup since the VW Beetle pickup that was built on a BMW E46 wagon platform. More than likely, this Toyota Solara convertible was rear-ended and totaled out by the insurance adjuster. Since it's a 2006 model, writing it off wouldn't take much. Even if the damage was fairly severe, the car is a front-wheel drive vehicle, so there's not much in the back but the rear suspension. An enterprising person could pick it up for scrap value and, with a case of beer, a sawzall, and some ingenuity, MacGyver this thing into existence. It's certainly not as weird as a motorcycle jet ski. In fact, the conversion looks extremely well done. Judging from the photos, the rear end of the Solara is a Ford Explorer Sport track made roughly during the same time frame as the Solara. The truck bed was about 4 feet long and made of composite materials, so it wouldn't be too difficult to get it to line up with the Camry's rear wheels. Built from 2003 to 2008, the second-generation Toyota Camry Solara was based on the regular Camry and shared its drivetrains. The 2.4-liter Four four-cylinder produced 155 horsepower, while the 3.3-liter V6, like the one in this vehicle, had an output of 210 horsepower. As for the vehicle itself, it looks like someone has already snapped up this one off bargain. Thanks for watching my video. Credits to motor1.com. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.